Lucky girl was killed by a monster last night. The police arrived quickly the next day, but as soon as they entered, they were stunned by what they saw. The girl died a horrible death, her limbs twisted to bizarre degrees, all the bones in her body shattered, even her eyes were gouged out. But Eddie, who was at the scene, disappeared without a trace, due to the overly vicious nature of the murder. The incident immediately sensationalized the whole city. Two students saw the news and wanted to go to the scene to see for themselves, so they disguised themselves as reporters and prepared to drive into the crime scene. The police officer sees Fred thinks he looks very familiar and says he is the one responsible for the death of a certain person. And Fred is dumbfounded, and that's when the cop turned into a monster. <laughs> All right there. What? It turns out Fred was hallucinating and the police didn't recognize him at all. They finally blended into the scene. Nancy was in charge of interviewing Eddie's uncle, while Fred tried to find clues from the surroundings. Just then, a strange sound suddenly comes from the woods, and Fred, as if possessed, involuntarily walks into the woods. When he finds the source of the sound, it is a giant wall clock, followed by a group of people suddenly appearing behind him. One of the girls pointed her finger at him, and her finger turned into a sharp claw and yelled at him for being a murderer. Then everyone turned into monsters. The scene was so horrible that Fred got scared and left the place, fleeing on the highway but found a car on fire. He carefully went over to check, a man suddenly climbed out of the car and pounced on him. Fred was so scared that he suddenly fell into a deep pit. When he came to his senses, there was a dry corpse next to him, and he was so scared that he hurriedly prepared to climb out of the pit. Another strange sound came from behind. He turned his head to see a horrible figure walking towards him. This figure was the same monster as yesterday. I want you to join me. The monster extends its claws to him, and Fred begins to slowly rise into the air. It turns out that what he had just seen was an illusion. The same thing happens to him as it did to the girl. On the other hand, a few of Eddie's classmates are looking around for him. When they found a house in the middle of nowhere, a man suddenly rushed out of it. And only after they come down did they realize that this man was the Eddie they were looking for. Eddie said last night's event scared him out of his wits, so he rushed to escape from that place. He told all the details of the last night and thought it was too absurd, they would not believe. But they all did not have any doubt, because they had long had a similar experience. It turned out that this kind of monster was from another world. Ordinary people could not see and touch, only the cursed people with sense its existence. They are not only boundless by God's power, but also cannot be old and immortal, once be targeted by it, would not want to live a life. 